you also discuss the future of transportation. Mm -hmm. and, and I really wanted to have a, a discussion about that. What are cities going to look like 30, 40, 50 years from now? Mm. Particularly for big cities where private vehicle ownership basically goes away. Exactly. No on-street parking. Mm -hmm. The amount of traffic can probably collapse by 80, 90% with better service. Yep. The amount of road space you need to give to cars maybe goes down by 50, 75%. And that huge spatial dividend mm -hmm. can go to people, to living, you know, kids playing in the street again. All of that stuff is possible. And the technology is right around the corner for that. Everything you said is correct. And the thing is, we can grasp this opportunity once. You know, and, it, and it's basically right now, because these cars are going to be on the road in the next few years. I just got a Volvo, because I have a baby now, and it's got um, autonomous features in it. It stops on its own if it senses anything around it. So the, the features are being woven together already by the car companies. The Silicon Valley companies are doing their own thing. They're going straight to like fully autonomous, you know, uh, Google in particular, but also Apple. Um, and so it's this opportunity, and I've been working with NACTO, with the team there, Jeanette, on you know, how do cities get together and coalesce around uh, a framework and a set of policies that make sense? Because the cities have so much power if they work together, and that's why I think NACTO and Streets Blog, and you know, there's some key organizations that are so important to this movement. But in terms of all the individual things you talked about, I mean, storage uh, of vehicles on our street can basically go away. Uh, we could get rid of, you know, 85% of parking in buildings. And what if we took that money and applied it to affordable housing in cities? We're talking about potentially being able to actually do Vision Zero. Like transit gets redefined completely, right? What is transit? It could be these vans you're talking about, uh, convoying with regular cars, convoying with a traditional bus, all being used for the same service, but diverting off their fixed route when they need to, right? And so, if we embrace this technology and we shape the policies around it, we can make cities truly safe. Like my vision is for my daughter. You know, I just had a daughter last year. She's only 16 months old. When she's eight, which will be in 2023, I'd like for her to be able to walk to school on her own without me having to worry about her. And I actually believe we can do it now.